Hey guys, and welcome back to another amazing, beautiful day. And as you can see behind me, I am in the amazing country of Iceland. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I'm lazy. So to start off in Iceland, we're here for about a week. Um, we are at Kirchafell mountain, as you can see behind me, that famous mountain that you see. And uh, we're here for sunset to sunrise. It's a beautiful uh, time of year because um, it doesn't really get dark. There's about maybe an hour of blue hour and you get the sunset and then about an hour of blue hour and then you get sunrise. So you get, you get around about four, five, six hours of potential golden light. It is fantastic for landscape photography but it does mean you have to switch your clocks around and get used to being up in the middle of the night but camper vanning it on the whole south coast of Iceland to expect some lovely content from this amazing part of the world uh, but first Kirkjafjall mountain so let's see if we can get some shots. So we're about an hour away from sunset and it's really messing up on my body clock with the, with the uh, nearly 24 hour daylight. So the sun sets at about 12 o'clock and rises at about 10 to 3, 3 o'clock in the morning. Kirkjafell is an absolute perfect location for this time of year because you get the sunset just going down the left hand side of the mountain it rises just to the right. I've been up here for about two hours now. We've all been, well there's loads of people here but we're all scouting different compositions. And I've gone for the generic composition at the moment and uh, just waiting around for the light now. So I've just been, just been messing about with a six stop ND um, just playing around with exposures and seeing what I like then I'll dial it down when the light is right and get the shot but um, composition is absolute key with this one uh, there's also a composition I've been scouting down that way there's like a pool of tidal water um, and I think it would work really well with reflection because they're kind of it's like mirrored now already so that's another composition I'll be getting later on so uh, until the light kicks off I'm gonna sit here and wait it out and see what happens So update, the sun is starting to go down, it's about half an hour before sunset, I think it's about half eleven now. Gorgeous side light hitting the side of um, Mount Kirkjafell and the sun has just dipped down behind a mountain in the background so it's leaving me in shadow as you can see and uh, obviously we've got deep dark shadows in the foreground where the water cascades down off, of, uh, off the side here but Kirkjafell is lit up beautifully on the side with this golden light and uh, I'm really really excited for how this whole sunset sunrise thing is going to pan out because I just don't know what's going to happen being like a long period of time so I put my camera around the portrait orientation and uh, framed the three cascades of water coming down a little bit of the uh, the ground in front of me and then the gorgeous uh, Mount Kirkjafell side lit and we've got some lovely cloud up there at the minute uh, it's just going to be one exposure uh, 1.3 seconds f16 iso 50 case polarizer and a case free stop soft grad taking a little bit out of the sky and just bringing a bit more through just helping me balance the scene uh, two second timers as always and uh, what an absolutely gorgeous evening it's just it's just breathtaking it's just so it's so hard to put it into terms and it's just an absolute pleasure to photograph
really nice image and it's such a gorgeous location. The light now is just phenomenal. It's really, really weird getting used to um, these long sunsets and sunrises. I've been stood here in the same sort of spot shooting various compositions for, I'd say about four hours, I reckon. I'm happy with that, that previous shot. I've just shot a panorama, just set up over there, but there's loads of people and there's lots of talking, so I didn't want to interrupt them. So I've just come away, but um, it's about seven or eight shot panorama. And it was just as the sun was dipping down behind the horizon. So we've got these gorgeous pastel tones. You can't quite see because it it's overexposed, but it's absolutely breathtaking. And to think now it's about quarter past midnight, there's this now for like the next three hours is just mind blowing. So um, I'm probably gonna reshoot a couple of things um, and see if the light changes a little bit and if it progresses, then great. Then I'm gonna head on down towards this pool of water because uh, I'm hoping to get mirrored reflections of Kirkjafell in this um, pool of water here as the sun comes up in about two or three hours time. So. Hopefully we can get another shot, fingers crossed, but it's just an absolutely mind-blowing location. An amazing first day on Iceland. This is probably one of the most amazing outings I've ever had with my camera and it's literally just what I need because I've just been feeling a little bit like fed up with the summer months and in the UK it's just not been great. It's so good to book a trip like this and oh, just look at that. It's just absolutely ridiculous. This shot is something that is just, oh, it's just mind blowing. I, I, I don't even know what to say. This happens and I just don't know what to say but I, I've taken a shot here and um, it is, I, I already want to get it printed and blown up really big. Uh, I've come down really, really low to the floor and I have a six stop ND in and a polarizer and that's it. And I have the Zeiss 18mm Batiste on there and it's 30 seconds F16 ISO 100. Two second timers and just let the wind just completely drop. The light is just phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. I, I don't even know what to say. It's just, I'll let the, I'll let, I'll let the photo do the, do the talking for me, but unbelievable. that photo it is literally moments like this that makes me kind of step back and realize I'm really really lucky to be able to do this and uh, I enjoy it so so much <laughs> a trip like this actually really makes me realize how much I love um, landscape photography because of things like this 
sat up in the middle of the night because of things like this. So I think I'm going to sit here for a few more hours and see how the light develops. Eventually the, the sun will start to come up this side of Kirchhoffel. If it gets any better then I'll, uh, I'll take another shot, similar composition to before. If not I'm just going to sit here and watch the sky develop and change and just enjoy it because it's just amazing. So thank you very much for uh, for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do consider clicking subscribe below. Give us a like. Tell us what you think down in the comments and do follow along on the rest of my Iceland journey because um, I've got a lot of plan for this week. So hopefully we can get some more magical conditions like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.